Welcome back to What's Inside. I'm Lincoln and this is Dan and today we're with our friend John. We are in the awesome city of Tokyo, Japan, or to be more exact or precise, Akihabara? Akihabara, that's right. We do. we are coming to Japan, and like we do when we travel to a lot of places, we always look to see what unique things they have there that we could potentially cut open. And we kept coming across this channel called Only in Japan, that is actually John's channel that had just a whole playlist of amazing, unique things about Japan. I love this video when he went to this exact store. Well, this is a gachapon. It's basically a Japanese capsule toy machine. Uh, a lot of the anime, a lot of the manga companies make um, products that fits it inside of a capsule. So you could find, it's, it's quite random. You can find all sorts of unique things by putting in a couple hundred yen, turning the handle and boom, there it is. Today we are going to show you around the store and kind of show you what's inside the Gachapon store, and then also John was able to get us a brand new Gachapon Bandai brand, just like this guy right here, um, machine. So we can take it apart and see how it works. Okay, Lincoln has 1,000 yen. Put in the exchanger. Are you here? All right, there we go. There's so many options, it's just so hard to decide. I mean. Have you, haven't you always wanted a ring with a bird on it? That's from that Should one right there. That? What is this one? Dogs with their dog bowls? Oh, how can we pass that up? Karate animals? What? Okay, we got this guy here. This office one. animals. Animals in office situations. Oh, Why? nice. Why? <laughs> These are old guys who, uh, a series on old guys who feed, who are sitting on benches. Oh yeah, that like series bench is dudes. great. Yeah, That's bench one of my dude. favorite series. What do you think this door with the um, bad smells coming out is? <laughs> Hiraku, it says. Um, I guess it's sort of. Yeah, these are just restroom doors. <laughs> Why? <laughs> but this is a women's bathroom, men's bathroom. This is apartment door. I think I know what to get first. Water bottle underwear for 200 yen. Water bottle underwear. I've always wanted that. How do they not have that I in know. America? 200 yen. You turn the handle. Boom. Boom. All right, what'd you get? Please say it's the bunny. Hello, bunny. No, I look at you knock off. It's that one. Oh, Lincoln. Oh, man, see? Oh, we'll put it up. We'll it's put addictive. It up. Now it's like, I want to get more because I don't want to just have the pink one. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Pink water bottle underwear. All right, John's turn. I'm going for it. Trade you. Okay. Trade you. What is it? Blue? Oh man. I'll trade you for that one. I need that for a trip to Scotland. I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know. Heck no, dude. <laughs> These Lincoln, are pretty cool. I think you can keep that one and give it to one of your sisters. They would love the pink oh, water true. bottle under. Three fighter. Ready? Fight. This one I've had my eye on since we walked in the door. I don't eat sushi, but I would possibly if there were little mini cats or kittens on them. So 400 yen, four coins, it's time. Cat sushi. Okay, I'm hoping I get... I used to have a cat that, that looked like that. His name was Pumpkin when I was growing up. True story. I'm going for Pumpkin. Here we go. Come on, Pumpkin. <laughs> what is it? I can't even tell. I'm opening it up. Oh, I got the black one with the white face. There he is. Ew. <laughs> Look at this. It's a tie on his back. An orange and white striped tie. This little sushi, so you can use it as your keychain. You never lose your keys. <laughs> I love it. I'm already in love with this place. What is that cat, the angry cat that they have? Oh yeah, Grumpy Cat. Grumpy Cat, it does, it looks like Grumpy Cat. Uh, this is one piece. This one right here, that's the most popular. Yes. So Lincoln, the quality on this one is really good. Do you know One Piece? Is that, no, does it just mean it's One Piece? No, that's the name of the, really? She don't know. Oh. I just thought you meant it's like, you have to put the legs on. <laughs> it's in One Piece. No, 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 One Piece is a really, really popular Japanese uh, anime. Oh, okay. Like, yeah. Kani? Ah, the very good quality is this one, Japanese craps. Oh, that's one of the highest quality ones, huh? Yeah, it's only 300 yen, if you like crabs. Mm. I have 300 Do you like crabs? Yeah. 
Yeah, I like crabs. Yeah. Well, well then, you... I like chasing crabs. I well, like the same thing. I All like right. eating them. Get some crabs. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, Ooh. Whoa. Look at that guy. Oh, creepy. It looks like a scorpion. It does. I guess that's high quality. Look at these guys. Look at this one. It's like some strange looking mushrooms. Warning. Do not eat. Thanks for the warning. <laughs> Does it even sit up? Oh, it's that, like that's, a, that's maybe the, it's a praying mushroom. Yeah, that's supposed to be what it's, it's uh... Oh, it's not squatting, it's praying. What, we're trying to figure out exactly what this means. So Google Translate to the rescue. <laughs> what would we find out here? So the, the, the name is uh, Tsuki Yotakeko, but the translation here is severe abdominal pain. Oh my so, gosh. It's so basically <laughs> this this mushroom is not praying. <laughs> it's in severe <laughs> abdominal pain. That's why it says don't eat, because they're all poisonous mushrooms. <laughs> like, they're really examples of mushroom. Oh, I'm so sick. But, ow. For all you kids watching this What's Inside show, just consider this a public service announcement. Do not eat mushrooms that are going to make you sick, okay? You will always know now, right, Lincoln? <laughs> We are doing good in the world with this channel. So glad we came to Japan <laughs> Why to Japan? find this out. Why Japan? <laughs> gotcha pon! Check it out. We have our own brand new machine. You can't use power tools in, in a crowded city like Tokyo. So yeah, that's a problem for me. <laughs> yeah, so we've come to a studio nearby that I know and they've let us use this freely. I'm guessing that they let us use it because it like has this weird blue wall. It's no, a it's not funky. weird, it's awesome. It is it's awesome. so cool. So, whoops. Woo! There we go. Can we yeah. get into this, buddy? Nope. I'm getting out of here. Okay, the metal parts are off of it. Should be able to just open this door right open. We thought. Nope, we gotta get the other side. It's not really our style, but we can use a key for it. <laughs> the whole thing pop out? Oh my gosh. There we go. There's the front of the gacha pon machine. <laughs> this looks like the place where our money is. There's a lot in there. 800 yen. How much is that in US dollars? It's about $8. Check it out. I just really want to see like how it works from the top. I think that would be really cool. All right. Let's just cut it. Let's cut it off. Let's cut it off. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Finally, we got it. Okay. Oh my, look at the smoke in here. I never, ever thought that I would be in Japan, ever. And then be in Japan and be cutting open this, some random gacha bone toy. This is a great day. This is a great trip. Whoa, all these different wheels and everything. So once you put the money in, we kind of have jammed it a little bit, but essentially what it does is it spins and drops it down that hole. What's interesting is this spring right here just protects it. So if some other ones fall in and they're kind of over it or on the top of it, when you spin it, they won't fall down into the hole. It just blocks it. And then these little guys, these just help keep things spinning also. So if it was completely full, this would just spin them all around. So they would just keep going. That's interesting. And then once it's out, that's, see this little pink part right here? That's when it warns you, that it tells you that nothing else is in it. Come around to the front and check it out. So when I push on that, it goes oh, up. Oh, there's a spring in there and then it moves. Yeah. And that's cool. Yeah, so it knows, all right, all out. What does that say? That says, no more gacha pone in here. Go yeah. elsewhere. No, I don't know. What does that say? Do you know, John? Um, Urikiri means it's sold out. Ah, nice. Urikiri. I like kitties. <laughs> when the door opens, it blocks it, that plastic thing, so you don't have another one. So if you want to open it up and stick your hand up in there, <laughs> no, you're blocked. We've cut it away and ta-da! So did the first two go down in it? Or no, they're all just piling up. They all look like they're just piling up. Woo! <laughs> this is the control mechanism. Let's do uh, 500. All see right. if that works. This is 500. Hold on a second. 
very analog, just moving a little plastic dial on a plastic roll, a plastic track here. That's it. 500 Simple yen. As that. Okay, Lincoln, give it a try. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. There's 500 yen. I'm going to try it every time you put one in. Hold on. Nope, doesn't work after 100. Doesn't work after 200. 300. Nope. 400. No. <laughs> That's how it works. That. It, it ends up in a slot for each one, right? Yeah, I had no idea that that mechanism that determines how many coins to accept is so so plasticky. <laughs> I it's so like simple, a, but you yeah. wouldn't even think about it. This is, thing doesn't have to be plugged in. No batteries. Yeah. It's just springs, plastic. And good Little engineering. Toys. That's yeah. why it does remind me of the uh, Jack in the Box that we cut open because it's the same kind of thing. It's been around for centuries and you just turn it and it's just the knobs that turn and yeah. When you come to Japan, everything is really unique. Everything is really different. And I like to cover those topics like the volcanic sand bath, the capsule hotel, the amazing Japanese toilet, even the escalators in Japan are really funky. You guys, we're going to put a link in the description to the Gachapon video that he did that's really more in depth. But then also, go look at one of his playlists and watch some of his videos because Japan is a beautiful place. It's a clean place. People are respectful here. This has been one of the coolest things that we've done in the entire, what, like 75 videos that we've done. Like coming to Japan. It's so, some of the things we got were so funny and <laughs> just crazy.